just trying to make everything work, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's supposed to be our friend, but when it goes wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not even it went wrong. It's like, you know, just trying to use it. Yeah, mm-hmm. gotcha. Makes sometimes sense. it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Exactly. And then it's got to go with the flow. Yeah. Yeah. Or, flow. you know, you wait for it all to fall apart. <laughs> but everything, everything falls, falls apart. Falls apart. <laughs> plan B. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes plan C. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we were thinking that maybe we should introduce ourselves a bit more and maybe we'll... I just dive right in on that. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we kind of talked about our kids and how they got into theater, but we didn't really talk about ourselves. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, at least my getting into theater is all centered around the fact that my kid got into theater, mm-hmm. so, you know. You didn't do anything before that when you were younger? Not for theater, no. I mean, like, I have a pretty varied past life, mm-hmm. um, especially professionally speaking. Like, you know, we all talk about as adults, like, our life is our work, mm-hmm. you know? But, um... So until Pinky got involved in it, I mean, we've always just been supportive of whatever it is the kids are doing, right? So like Mm -hmm. uh, when they were younger, we were real heavy into um, swim. They joined the local, well, I say local swim team, but we actually didn't join our local swim team. Mm -hmm. We joined the Winter Haven one, which was not as local as the local one. Not so much local. But the (laughs) local one was like, we found later, I'm glad that we didn't just because their like home based swim team was like mm-hmm. positioned directly over Hades. So it's like really, really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Cause we would have to do like swim meets and oh, yeah, around I know. all the time they're and miserable. Yeah. We would go to And they're long. Yeah, yes. they are long, yeah. But yeah. we would go to that pool, the Gandhi pool, I think is what it's called. Mm-hmm. So we would go to the Gandhi pool and you're just like you're just sweat. pouring sweat and like you know, of course, we're not in the water. So we're say, not getting to cool off. Chris, we're just it's under it's my the turn. Tent. Adult swim. Adult swim. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Not that I can do it very well, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, um, yeah, grown doggy woman, paddle, yeah, can you so. please get out of the pool? <laughs> Yeah, I'll race you to the end. Last one there wins. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, it's uh. So we were re- getting really involved in the swim stuff, and then the kids were kind of like, "We're done with this." Uh, so we, you know, abandoned that, and then we were kind of in search of like, what are we trying next? Because you, you, the kids needed something, mm-hmm. you know. Right. Mm-hmm. And um, Michaela got into band, and I was like, great, this is great. And then she got tuba, and I cried. <laughs> um, I was like, what happened? Oh my god! I bet it was bigger than she was. <laughs> she it, didn't choose it. Still it still is. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I'm sure it is. Did she choose it? She did. So mm-hmm. that when you get into band, they um, they have like a day. And, um, like in, in middle school, Mm -hmm. you know, when you start in sixth grade and they have a day where you try out several different instruments and then the, um, the band teacher will decide which one is the right one for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what the criteria is even after all this time. And I was a music performance major Mm -hmm. in college. So like, Mm -hmm. you'd think I'd know this. I don't know this. I don't know what the criteria was. Like, why was I pointed to clarinet? Right. Right. And she was pointed to tuba. Yeah. I don't know. It's something about like how well you can make a noise on it that first day. I, yes. I don't know if it's that simple. I think it's that simple. Mm, mm. That's my guess. Well, my brother got pointed to tuba when he missed the day that they were signing instruments and nobody else wanted the tuba. <laughs> he got the so he came over. back to school the next day and he was playing the tuba. Oh, dang. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. So he was just uh, unlucky. Exactly. Oh, man. Did he stick with it? Just through high school. I mean, okay. Beyond that. Mm-hmm. But still, that's that's good. That's yeah. a few years, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Through, so in middle school through high school, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. That's a few years. Yeah. yeah. So was Michaela excited about she the tuba? She was situation? super excited about okay. the tuba, okay. and she still is t- today. Mm-hmm. She loves the tuba, mm-hmm. and she loves the fact that she's a girl that plays the tuba, mm-hmm. which is yeah. actually kind of a rarity. Sure. Yes. Even yes. if she still struggles today to lift the damn thing in the car, <laughs> well, like you have to get out. <laughs> In the Harrison lot, you know, and okay, sorry everybody, and like pop the thing, and it's boo doo doo, boo doo doo, boo doo doo for you know thirty seconds as the yes. thing raises, and then I help her get it into the car, oh, and then boo doo doo, boo doo doo, as it comes back down, and we get in the car and go, and it's yeah. a team lift. Oh yeah, I've helped with that thing before. <laughs> but yeah, Ooh. and then and then Pinky, well, I'm, I told this story mm-hmm. last time. Pinky got you know 
she tried soccer. That didn't work. Mm -hmm. I tried to be supportive, but I just can't lie to the kids. I know. So, you know, when she'd come off the field, she's like, how was that game, Mommy? And I'm like, well, you almost hit the ball. (laughs) Yeah. You know, keep going, baby. You almost got it. (laughs) Keep running after it. Yeah. She just realized she sucked. And it's okay. I mean, we're not not really a sporty family. Mm -hmm. Uh, But the, you know. She tried it, and I and I did. It. I got the like the poster size print of her, mm-hmm. you know, and I framed oh, nice. it out and I put okay. it on the wall in the hall. And she came home the day I had framed it and put it up, and she's like, "Why is that here?" Because <laughs> at this point we were already involved in theater, oh, we were doing right. our first show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, "Why is that here?" And I'm like, "Well, you you know, I'm proud of you, baby. You know, mm-hmm. you tried, and you know, yeah. it's a cute picture, and it just represents that time of your mm-hmm. life, or whatever." And she was like, "No." Get rid of it. You got to take it down. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's got to go. Yeah. She'd already moved on, you know. Yeah. And she clearly found her jam. It was really fast. She was really good at swim, though, for what it's worth. She was really good. It took her a while to find kind of, excuse me, her groove there. Okay. Um, But when she did, like, she had this, like, beautiful dive off the block into the water. And Mm. I was like, oh, man, if she wasn't so short, she might have a real shot at, you know, doing something real with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But she, she, like beautiful dive into the water and then she was the last one a lot of the time Mm -hmm. because she was swimming in her age group and she's always been so tiny and petite for her age group Mm -hmm. she just she should have been swimming with like you know she was i I don't know maybe first grade Mm -hmm. second grade maybe when that was all going down and she was swimming against you know those same kids that are they've already got like a foot of growth on right her. right exactly that makes a big difference and they got longer legs it really and longer does arms i mean and... you see just a few inches can make a difference or mm-hmm. your different cardiovascular yeah. system mm-hmm. can make a difference in swim yeah yeah it's so big deal. it's a big deal did yeah. you have any previous theater experience zero so i didn't have any at all um pj had a little bit of like church choir situation okay <clears throat> but other than that I did not um I'm a nurse by trade um been doing that for oh lordy long time now I'm gonna date myself but um uh, I don't know like 16 17 years it's been a long time so but yeah so I've been doing that and uh PJ's a nurse as well so we're very like obviously medical field you know um, he's definitely more creative mm-hmm. than I am. So Gabby definitely gets that from her dad. Yeah. So that's not any trait that she gets from me <laughs> Well, all. maybe they'll get to do a show together because we've yes. got that one coming up that has kids and adults. So that'll yeah. Be fun. So Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At Lakeland Community Theater. So that would be wonderful. So we'll see. Um, you always see parents that get to do it with their kids and mm-hmm. they always talk about how, mm-hmm. what a great experience it is. So yeah, they're going to shoot their shot. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Hopefully they'll get in. Um, PJ just wrapped up um, Dog Sees God, which was an awesome stage read. Amazing. So, yeah. 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 Totally, yeah. We could probably talk a whole hour just on that. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, it's fantastic. So, anyway, yeah, so he kind of caught bit by that bug as we talked last time, too. But, you know, for me, um, it, this is totally different, mm-hmm. you know. So, being an RN, I started off in critical care, ER. ICU, emergency situations, um, totally a different way of thinking, you know, and all of that. And um, just kind of made my way up through leadership. And I'm a clinical operations director now for a um, client-based healthcare model mm-hmm. company. They're nationwide. Um, it's fantastic. I love it. And it uh, gives me great flexibility with the kids, which is always something you're looking for with that life-work yeah. balance. Mm-hmm. It's hard to find that, you know. Yes. I mean you're seeing more opportunities for that since COVID, but mm-hmm. now even those companies are kind of pivoting back mm-hmm. to, yeah. you know, you got to be in the office, you have right. to have this kind of schedule and yeah. stuff, but yeah, That's it's true. nice to have that flexibility. Yes, it is. And I certainly don't take it for granted. So, you know, we're happy with that. And PJ, he's a provider, um, for a local, um, group here in town. And so he has more of an office schedule, you know, um, eight to five and, you know, seeing patients and whatnot. So I'm definitely the one that's a little bit more flexible so we can do all the running around mm-hmm. and get the kids where they need to be and, and all that. Well, that's um, the kind of thing you have to have in a, you know, a household with kids. Mm-hmm. Yes. You have to have somebody who has that right. flexibility. Yes, exactly. Shit comes up. Mm-hmm. You got to deal with kids sick at the school. You got to go get them. Yeah. Or they have mm-hmm. doctor's appointments or whatever, you know? Yeah, it's true. We do a lot of divide and conquer, which mm-hmm. I'm sure you guys do too. Um, but you know, PJ is a great partner, so we t- 
tag team it and mm -hmm. get it done. And, you know, like I said before, theater is just one of those things that we can all do together, which is yeah. great. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we enjoy that. What about you, Angela? Do you <laughs> yeah. have any previous theater experience? I do. Oh, bring it on. <laughs> I want to hear this. This needs a drink. Go ahead. I hesitated to tell you because I didn't want you to be jealous of my talent. Oh, but. oh, oh. <laughs> wait, oh, wait. I feel like you were a cheerleader too, though, oh, right? Oh, gosh, no. Huh? No? Okay. No, I was an athlete. Okay. Yeah, no. Well, you're no. still an athlete. No, cheering. <laughs> yeah. She's like, there's no. Mm -mm. When I was about, probably about seven or eight, my mom had us in children's theater classes. So, oh, you know, wow. you pay the monthly fee, you go to class. It was at Parker Playhouse in downtown Fort Lauderdale. And I can remember we had an audition because they were doing a play or a showcase. I can't remember what it was, but I was going to sing um, my favorite things from Sound of Music. So I had practiced. Oh, and, you Is know, there a video of this? I don't. I can't even. You know how old I am. I, I did just turn 53. So no, it was before video. So, oh, God. Too bad. So I get up on the stage and, you know, they're all sitting behind their little table for the audition. And I chickened out the last minute oh, and no. sang My Country Tis of Thee. Oh, no. It was horrendous. <laughs> so, you went total rogue. I You're did. Like, I, I just do this. panicked. Yeah. And uh, so the next week, the cast list oh, came no. out. And you want to know what I got? Mm. Uh, sure. I wasn't oh. even cast. <laughs> and it's not I like... I got to pass out the playbills. Oh, my God. It wasn't even like a play within a play. Where well, like and you my were mom a... was paying for these classes, so you would think I'd get a part. But yeah, that uh, pretty much ended my career right there. So, mm, no, there's zero short, talent. It was short-lived. Very short-lived. Yeah, I think I <laughs> must have quit classes after that. But, um, oh, yeah, no. that's it. No talent whatsoever. Um, I'm a teacher by trade, and I can stand up in front of... A group of kids all day long and love it. I taught for 21 years before we moved here. Um, mm -hmm. But put me in front of an audience. <laughs> no, thank you. And it's not happening. No. no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, going to happen. In this it's, show. I'm just saying, wait for Bumble, people. <laughs> yep. Angela's going to make her big debut. My debut. Yeah. I hope I don't chicken out. You know what? We'll have to tell you You're once not. we like figure out what part. Angela is like what appendage or whatever yeah so then everybody <laughs> can go and watch well, I think it's, I think it's a, an arm and an arm yeah. and a head oh okay extremity you whatever know. is it legs <laughs> no legs I don't think is there a body is it just floating? I don't think it's yeah I don't think it's a, I mean I don't know we haven't seen the mock-up but in my head what I have envisioned mm -hmm. is a head and arms so okay. and, a, and, a, and then a star, <laughs> and a star All right. on a tree. I I don't know. I could be completely wrong. There could be an entire body, and you're just like operating the arm on right. it. I, I don't really. Need, I don't know. Yeah, we'll I find out. Uh, I mean, we're, I assume we'll see something to do with the plans for that at some point. Mm -hmm. Or she like our prop <laughs> master may just mm -hmm. go straight to the director and be like, Hey, what do you think of this? Right. Yeah. So. All right. Well, once we find out yeah. what, which one Angela's holding, my debut. we're going to let everybody know so they can cheer for you. <laughs> yeah. Go right That's arm. That's right. I want right to hear arm. it. <laughs> I just have to remember, I'll ask, I'll see if, I, if maybe, you know, word has made its way to the director, Jordan, to see mm -hmm. if uh, she knows kind of what we're going to get. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, more to come. That's kind of exciting. That's right. See how Bumble comes alive. <laughs> The abominable bumble. Snowman. Yeah. I mean, all this theater magic stuff's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, yes. getting to go uh, last weekend, we mentioned mm -hmm. we were going to go see the play that goes wrong. Mm -hmm. And we went and saw it, and it was awesome. Oh, I don't think I've laughed that hard no. since mm -mm. forever. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. At a show. Like, I'm still thinking about little pieces of it that. Yes. It was so much to watch and listen to at the same time because there was so much physical comedy as well as yeah. just the acting. Mm -hmm. Well, you're, you're sort of surrounded by, like, from the second that we arrived, you're kind of surrounded by, like, stuff that's happening. There mm -hmm. was, like, the pre-show stuff. And right. then your playbill had, you know, it had the, the normal stuff you see in a playbill, mm -hmm. but then they had, like, the fake playbill part mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm, like, flipping through, and I, I was realizing, like, this is part of the show. Right. Yeah. Everything was. Yeah. From yeah. The you walked in that theater. The, Even the, the text tech walking crew. around like, have you seen my dog? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Was... I mean, anything that you could possibly think going wrong in a show, like they were doing wrong. It was perfect. Yeah. It was, it was absolutely perfect. So funny. Straight up belly laughs. Oh, yeah. I mean, and like cheek hurting because, it, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Because we were laughing so much. Well. On uh, your face. I mentioned on that your Laura face. had kind of, you know, shared with me, spoiled <laughs> maybe a little bit like what some of the 
the moments, the big moments are that's hilarious, but still even experiencing mm-hmm. it there, I was still rolling. Oh my yeah. gosh. You know, it's so funny. like the, the physical comedy bits, like where mm-hmm. they're, they're smacked out, knocked out, right. You know, smacked by door or whatever and knocked out. And then they're dragging that person <laughs> off the stage, like through oh a window. God, like right. that is yes. hilarious. <laughs> And well, of the one it, actor it didn't work the first time. No, right? no like they have it to was like a doing five it. minute bit. Yeah. Where oh they're trying God. to get her out, and she's like, yeah. she's wearing a dress, so like her underwear is flashing <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. It was just hilarious. Oh. And the one actor that was overacting. Oh yes. And he would come into the scene and like jump in, and yeah. then he'd look at the audience and be like, "Yeah, I did that good, didn't I?" Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that constant break of the fourth yes. wall. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Why don't we explain what that is? The so fourth wall. Yeah. Explain that. That's like the one take a crack sure. at that. Yeah. It's kind of the barrier between the audience and the actors. And generally, actors don't break the fourth wall. They don't make any kind of connection with the audience or eye contact mm-hmm. or try to communicate with them in any way. But every once in a while, there are plays that do that. But this one, the one actor kept breaking the fourth <laughs> wall. He kept looking for affirmation from the audience and like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, nailed it. That was funny, right? Yeah, it was very funny. Because yeah. it was part of the premise of the <laughs> show was, it was a little community theater troupe, and you kind of got the impression from the director, that who was actually one of the actors, that they weren't all that talented and that they didn't really have the money. To, yeah. But he was excited because he actually had enough actors for this one show. Oh so my you God. go into it like knowing yeah. it's going to be a disaster. What did he say? They were doing James and the Giant Peach, and said, I guess something had happened, yes. and it was just James. It was James and the Peach. Oh first. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it became just and then the Peach James. rotted, so it was just James. <laughs> yes, because they didn't have the budget. For two weekends. Right. Yeah. They only had budget yeah. enough right. for one Peach. Yeah. Oh, it was brilliant. It was oh, absolutely James. brilliant. That's, that is really. I don't. I. I mean. I don't know how people come up with this stuff, Mm-mm. but it was it was just brilliant. Yeah. I know and who that was that directed scripted, by? But... Who was the director? Um, I wrote it down. Mark Hartfield. Yeah, we mm-hmm. want to make sure we give credit to him. Yeah, because over he was at fantastic. Theater Winter Haven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they have like a pretty awesome season. I'm definitely looking forward to mm-hmm. this year. But um, they, the the lady that was in this cast as the stage manager, mm-hmm. uh, in the play that goes wrong, she was our director for mm-hmm. a musical. Um, junior, mm-hmm. which all of our kids were in, mm-hmm. and um, she's got a she was brilliant, and yeah, uh, so, so we went down after you know the play was done, and and she took us backstage, and we got yeah. to see some of the magic, mm-hmm. which I think was really cool because, yeah. you know, the play that goes wrong isn't just about like the people doing things wrong, mm-hmm. it's also about like just like tech shit that's like gone awry. Mm-hmm. Uh, the tech component the is a huge part <laughs> yes. of that, you yes. know. Yes, the lady definitely. getting knocked out and dragged off the stage, and then the <laughs> stage manager having to throw on and duck gaff tape. I should say gaff tape the dress together to fit her right. because they were different size people. Mm-hmm. And she's out there with a script in hand, you know, mm-hmm. reading and and pretending to be this character that's just mm-hmm. been knocked out mm-hmm. and just gone mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Once they dragged yeah. her out of the window, mm-hmm. um, and she was brilliant. She was brilliant yeah, at absolutely. it. Absolutely, and wonderful. it was so awesome after the show. For us and the kids mm-hmm. to get to go backstage and, um, you know, kind of get the tour of like all the magic behind that because, mm-hmm. you know, at the end, spoiler alert, you know, just, you know, wait for a, a second and then I'll tell you so you can, if you've never seen this, you mm-hmm. can just like skip ahead a couple of seconds, but, um, okay, now I'm saying it. So at the end, <laughs> <laughs> and we're back, just, yeah, just going, you know. <clears throat> um, at the end, the whole stage falls down. And, Mm -hmm. you know, they have like a a section of the, the, um, stage two, that's like supposed to be another story. So like they take an elevator up to it all the time and that falls as well. Which was terrifying. Oh God. It was very terrifying. Cause it would, it was level. It was like a loft and then Uh the one pole got knocked out so then it kept yeah it had tilting like, further and further down, further down. down. Yeah. It would and they're like, up it was there like a slide by the time it was done oh, i know and yes. they're up there with a desk a globe a plant there's no railing no. and i'm thinking this guy's gonna slide yeah. right off this thing and nothing's bolted to the floor no. people like it know. is oh my gosh it was just a, a trick platform yeah. yes which w- it was really neat to get to go backstage mm-hmm. and kind of mm-hmm. see that rig and how they made that safe mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. uh, as safe as it can be anyway but you know, it's funny because all the times that we've been up to the theater and we've been helping with strike, mm-hmm. um, after the end of every show, that's a big part of it. You stay for a few hours and you strike that set. Mm-hmm. Which all the actors, all the tech help. Take yeah. down the set, basically. Yeah, take just down dismantle the flies, everything. Dismantle, everything. Yeah, lots of heavy away. power tools involved. <laughs> yep. 
I mean, they cleaning have, up dressing rooms, all they that. They have crew that's at the theater that's mm-hmm. you know brought in by the theater that helps mm-hmm. with all of that. But we're, it, it's our job mm-hmm. to help clean up, mm-hmm. help get costumes kind of in a state where they can be you know taken to storage or whatever's right. happening with them next, and you know to dismantle the set. So. <clears throat> You know, I've been told a bunch of times during all of that, like how dangerous the theater can be, mm-hmm. you know, especially when they're doing stuff with the, the fly rigs. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, you know, things can go wrong. You know, those there's a lot of weight up there counterbalancing those flies. And, you know, that's just one aspect of how dangerous a theater can be. Mm-hmm. So to see how they work these rigs mm-hmm. and kind of get glimpses into that magic is kind of neat. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, everything kept falling off throughout the play. Things, different things would fall off the um, walls. Right. Yes. What they were doing was they had magnets on the other side holding it up, and then when they were ready for it to fall, they would pull the magnet away. But they had to time that because there, yes. there were several things. There's no way one person could have done that. No, no, they had and, a whole team yeah. in the back just yeah. making I mean, sure the, that it was going. There was on an army of techs to, back there. Yeah, and they yeah. really they had to coordinate that. They had to know what they were doing. Yeah, it was very impressive. Yeah, yeah it really was. Mm-hmm. And the and and that. Really impressive rig for the the floor, the yes. loft floor. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I mean, all the that work was, that went into that. It was all welded together mm-hmm. with all yes. that very um, interesting, intricate looking system back mm-hmm. there, because it it didn't just all fall at once. It had to fall in stages, right. and right. it had to be safe at each stopping point mm-hmm. of that stage. And I mm-hmm. thought, wow, to have to like think through how you're going to do that and stuff. I mean, mm-hmm. that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, and that's it a is. lot of trust on the actor's part that the <laughs> techs are going to do what they're supposed very to do. Very true, and you know yeah, the thing is is it's not even necessarily the text could have done something wrong, but like anything could go mm-hmm. wrong. And so, you know, <laughs> you kind of think back on like tech stories and stuff that we have, mm-hmm. you know, just in the, since 2019 or so, when we've been backstage and helping, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure you guys have stories like, Oh yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Share, share one. Yeah. Should we share? share one? Okay. So we can totally just share one. So, Gosh, Angela and I, she's usually stage left, so we can talk about that. So when you're looking, when you're on the stage and you're looking into the audience, that's when you get stage left, stage right. So I used to get that always confused because I'm used to being a spectator, looking onto the stage, Mm -hmm. so it'd be completely opposite. So when we use the word stage left, stage right, that's going to be from our point of view of being on the stage, Mm -hmm. looking out into the house or the seats, right? Okay, Sandra would usually be <laughs> stage left, I'd be stage right, and we'd handle our little things. Well, in the last show that we did, which was Oliver Jr., which was fantastic, it was a great show. Mm-hmm. If you didn't get a chance to see it you, and you missed it, um, I feel bad for you because it was a wonderful. We yeah, have so yeah. much talent with yeah. those kids. Oh my, oh my God. And it was at Lakeland Community <laughs> Theater. Um, so anyway, so Angela and I had the opportunity to work on the same side, which was great. So we were pretty much in charge of these movable stairs. Okay. They're wooden. Um, they had brakes at the bottom so that we could make sure that they were very safe for the kids. And they were used in almost at least one pair of stair, I think mm-hmm. was used in almost every scene. Right. And in different configurations. Yes. Did you have all three from SpongeBob? Cause they were stairs from SpongeBob, weren't they? The same stairs? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, well, there's I only three. We had two, two sets. They were oh, the, sets of I think there was the shorter ones. We didn't have oh, the super yeah, tall one. Yeah, that super one. tall one was scary. Oh, yeah. yeah, that Everybody was. Everybody that had to get on that in SpongeBob was like terrified. Mm-hmm. They had to go up that. Yeah, it had rails. It, it was yeah. perfectly steady. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyway. Yes, we had two short ones, and the way that they were is how many stairs? I don't know. Maybe five or six. Oh, at least. I mean, it probably yeah. was about six feet. Yeah, maybe it's. And then they had a platform with um, rails on both sides. So, and then they had a platform. And so hers would go up in one direction and then I had a second set of stairs that would go up in the other direction so that when the platforms would meet, it would be like a going up the stair platform like and then you would come back down. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so the two tall yep. sides would meet. Like a bridge. Like we'd be rolling them across the stage and meet up. Yep. And mm-hmm. so literally for each scene, we had to do something with these stairs, okay? So, I mean, not to mention, we were always banging ourselves up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We would come home with bruises and everything, but that's just part of it and it's fun and, yeah, and it whatever. Yeah, happens. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you learn how to keep your legs away. I mean, at least. <laughs> how to I not roll to. a platform over your <laughs> over foot. Your yeah, yeah mm-hmm. exactly. You learn real quick. You learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And so some of the transitions that we would do would have 
Um, like the blackout curtain would come down, meaning that the audience couldn't see what we were doing, which mm-hmm. was great. But sometimes it was just dark lighting. Total blackout. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's complete blackness. Complete really blackness. total darkness. Oh, total darkness. Yes. Ooh, that's yes. pretty rare, actually, because yeah. usually, like the lighting guys, when they're setting that up, they at least give you like two percent blue mm. or something. So I have a little bit. Mm. There may have been two percent blue, but it felt I don't like one hundred percent black. Oh, yeah, it and then did. you have spike marks on the floor with glow you've... tape. Well, we did, yes. yes. <laughs> we tried the glow we tape tried. thing. You know, we tried to give but ourselves the best I advantage know, because <laughs> lights go out and you just can't see anything. No. Yeah, or you see, I see glow tape. I right. don't know which one's my right. spike. Could be <laughs> from any one of the set There's pieces. like two dozens of glow tape. So you kind of guess. So, yeah, so at this one scene, I came from stage right with um, my stairs, so I had to unbreak them get them across we had these other boxes like crates that were on okay and so those had to strategically get moved out of the way and you know um studio cubes i think is what those are called right is that sure pretty sure Mm, that's a nice technical word for them i like that i know they're just boxes i agree yeah Yeah. and they're heavy heavy. boxes (laughs) they are heavy yeah they're They're very they're very solidly built Mm -hmm. so once i was out of the way i would grab my stair and i would have to meet up with angela's stair so across the stage Okay. okay And so again, this is not a blackout curtain situation. Mm -hmm. This is just blackness because there's actors on the stage doing whatever it is that they're doing, Mm -hmm. you know? And so I'm coming across. Now, Angela had to take her stare and move it from the position that it was already in and move it, turn it around so that it would be ready to meet up with my stare as I came across the stage. Okay, and we had done this like clockwork, (laughs) I don't know, two dozen times, like, yeah. yeah. And so we had it down, you know, the timing with the song, because remember, you got to be ready. When those lights come back up, you don't want to be caught out there Mm -hmm. like, I know Angela's always ready, though. She's like always in the running (laughs) position. My ninja pose. Yeah. Is is it it now? No. Is it now? Can I go? Can I go? So this one time, I don't even remember which show it was. It was opening night. Oh, yeah. That's right. Opening night. Mm -hmm. But we had already practiced it all that week. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't even something that we were worried about. But anyway, I'm coming across the stage with my stairs. And her (laughs) stairs are completely opposite. And I'm like, it it took me a second because I was like, well, hold on a second. Thinking in my brain, is this when the blackout curtain comes down? Because we have a whole other scene where that happens and her stairs go the other way. I'm like, no, 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 this isn't it. And as I'm getting closer, I'm thinking, okay, she'll she'll spin them. She'll turn them. She'll turn them. And she's not turning them. No, so I was down there trying to figure out where the brakes were. Yeah, I'm like, why can't I find the brake? <laughs> There's no brake. It was on, on the, the wrong side. side. <laughs> so I finally, I get close enough. I'm like, Angela, Angela, turn it around. Turn it around. <laughs> using my finger at her like turn it around in the meantime the stage manager who's running the light board is probably like dude is the deck set (laughs) (laughs) i spin that sucker around i slam into the portal oh thank god it didn't break it bent yes (laughs) we were able to fix it like yes that piece just kind of bent back into it and then, but I mean, we still did it. We got it I done. Did. You know, know, we slapped those two suckers together, put the brakes on, and I got off stage. I and don't know what happened. It's like my brain farted. You could hear it go, and everything just fall out my ears. <laughs> and there was, there was nothing in there. I literally was standing there going, Oh, that's totally- What do I do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I was so confused. She's like, the deer in headlights. Spin it around. Spin it around. <laughs> She's like, come okay. on, brains. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> and it did. I mean, we made it, you we know. We did. And it, it only probably took maybe three or four seconds off of what like we had been doing. Ever. But it did feel like forever. It was mm-hmm. like slow motion. I feel like time moves a little slower on the stage when mm-hmm. you're doing that. Because mm-hmm. we're all like frantic. Yeah, right. High yes. adrenaline. Just oh, trying yeah. to make sure that we, we're getting it done mm-hmm. and we're not the hold up. You know, yeah. right. there there may be a holdup, but it doesn't necessarily have to be you. Exactly. Um, yeah, you never want it to be you. Yeah. No, because you, you feel don't. like you're dragging uh, the show down. Like, I'm you sorry. Know? Yeah. Well, I mean, the last thing you want to be is the one that's discovered on stage when the lights do right. come up. Yeah. You do that during well, the show. Like, yes. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> it's like hey. a slicker off. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. That's right. Lovely. Nothing to see here. We're just gonna. Well, you guys make fun out. of me all the time, which I deserve it for my ready pose because. <laughs> no, but it's great. Well, and I take teching very seriously because we have a group of people who have worked for months yes. to produce yes. this amazing production. I don't want to screw that up because, yeah. like we saw in the play that goes wrong. Once the tech started messing up, it threw off the actors, yep. and yes. then it just snowballed from there. Yeah. So when this when a prop piece isn't where it's supposed to be, or a set piece, and then the actor has to like think on their feet, which they're great at. Yeah, they. But will. it screws them up. 
Yeah. And then what they've worked for for all this time, you know, it can just start Mm -hmm. this. Well, that's an interesting point. When we saw that in the play that goes wrong, he goes out to get a pencil Mm -hmm. and the pencil was supposed to be on the desk and the pencil wasn't on the desk. So he's like, I'm going to improvise and I'm looking for my pencil. He's like vocally saying, grabs keys. Mm -hmm. I've got the pencil and leaves. Then the next guy comes on and he's like, I need my keys. Keys are gone. Mm -hmm. And he, so he grabs a vase. Uh, it was a vase. Was it a vase? Yeah. Uh-huh. So then he grabs mm-hmm. a No, because the vase was the notepad. Oh, okay. So what did he grab? I don't remember what he grabbed now. He grabbed something else. I don't know. And then the next yeah. guy came in looking for the notepad, <laughs> grabs the vase, the oh, flowers. Oh, he, he grabbed the notepad. Yes. Okay. You're right. You're right. Because okay. it, it was a snowball thing. Yeah. It's like a trick. Yeah. It just yeah. kind of kept going. Mm-hmm. So then later, when the guy has to bring the notepad and a pencil out for someone, he brings, here's your <laughs> pencil, hands keys, here's yes. your notebook, which is like a vase or notepad flowers, or whatever, right. and it's the vase. Yeah. So he's like improvising <laughs> right, with keys funny. in a vase, and he pretends to like write mm-hmm. on the vase, which is hilarious. Oh, like yeah. you're peeing yourself laughing so hard. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, that kind of thing, that snowball, mm-hmm. that happens. Mm-hmm. For real. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know. Right. And then one actor can throw off another actor and it's just this whole giant mess. Yeah. 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 Well, like so, in SpongeBob, when we had to push a new Patrick out on stage mm-hmm. right. mid-act, um, you know, nobody had a chance to actually tell SpongeBob. Oh, my gosh. Or Sandy. Uh, they were both, I think they were both out. Mm-hmm. And so when Patrick comes out and it's not the Patrick <laughs> they'd been working with for months. Yeah. It's Patchy in Patrick's outfit. <laughs> Um, yeah, they were. Ben Santos, you're the best. Uh, there you go again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, they, they had to kind of take that in stride. They right. did a fantastic right. job. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, um, they had to help kind of usher him mm-hmm. around the, the blocking on the stage, which is, mm-hmm. you know, where you're supposed to be when, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um, and, yeah. and it worked out fine, but at the time you, you could see it on their faces. Sure. Like they yes. were rolling with it as best mm-hmm. they could, but yes. it definitely threw them. And then when they got off stage, they had to turn around and almost immediately go back on. Mm-hmm. And in that coming off, they were right by me. I was running all the, the projection screens. So I had my little laptop mm-hmm. and I was, you know, waiting for cues and stuff. And I could hear them in whispered tones, like freaking out <laughs> and hugging Ben. And like, oh they were so yeah. supportive. Mm-hmm. Mm, so supportive. Mm-hmm. And they did fantastic. I don't think from an audience point of view, you would have felt that. No, like, I don't was, think they, they just, they just rolled it. I mean, you know? they, the next show announced that, mm-hmm. or one of the next ones that followed anyway, mm-hmm. that, that Ben was filling in and, you know, right. kind of at the beginning. So, you know, yeah. pardon the roughness of this. But right. yeah, yeah. during that, when he pops out on stage, it was not expected. No, Nobody no, knew yeah. that the was going to happen. The audience would have seen that because yeah. they were physically and like he came out with a book in his hand, different. just yeah. like right. the play that goes wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it was, I mean, it's just the only way yeah. to do it, I guess, you know, but. Uh, yeah. Live yeah. theater. It, yeah. You, know, you don't it, get takes. It's what you get is you what don't, you get. Yeah. yeah. And so we talk all the time about how important it is and how we feel, seeing as how we've been so active in the tech that we think everybody should have to go do tech. Mm-hmm. Like all, and we push it for our girls and, you know, Max enjoys it. Like it's something that they, they should do because they need to learn the backstage and they need to learn to count on the tech and they need mm-hmm. to know how important that is. Mm-hmm. Um, that it's not just, oh, that's right, you're just a tech. No, you're not just a tech. You do everything to make that show go, mm-hmm. you know? Absolutely. So and we get a lot less rehearsal time for that. Oh, yeah. We yes. Get, we get tech week, and then right. it's showtime. It's <laughs> not even a full week. That's why I make diagrams yeah. of everything, because you're in dry tech, and you're in wet tech, so there's like your long days, and you put figuring out where everything goes. And it makes total sense in that moment. Yeah. And then you show up the next day and you're like, I don't know where anything goes. I can't remember. Because we don't know the show like the actors do. That's very true. It's a valid point, too. Like, mm-hmm. when yeah. you come in as dry tech, like, your kids, I mean, when we're doing it for our kids, right? Mm-hmm. Your kids don't talk to you. No. Do they tell you anything about what's happening there? Very little. Right. Mm-hmm. I only know what I know about the show that we're doing because I'm in the production crew mm-hmm. as the assistant stage manager, mm-hmm. ASM. But before that Mm -hmm. I was just as blind as you guys and am when I'm not that role Mm -hmm. so like you come in on tech week to help push stuff out onto the stage and you know make sure that the the play is going to happen and you know be okay Mm -hmm. and you're blind you're like okay so what are we doing right I don't know anything about this show because like we already said Mm -hmm. we don't come from theater backgrounds Mm -hmm. I was a band nerd Mm -hmm. in high school and in college 
And then, you know, I was an animal, tra- I have a varied background yeah, as an I animal trainer. And I was, you know, I've been in marketing for almost, you know, 20 years in various forms. I'm an entrepreneur. I have had several businesses, but like, you don't hear theater in any of that, do you? Mm-hmm, right. like, <laughs> like, I don't know shit. <laughs> I'm still learning every, mm-hmm. every time I get involved with something, it's me learning. And I love to learn, mm-hmm. which has been great because I have to mm-hmm. learn a lot yeah. in my history. Yeah. Um, yeah. jumping from things that are completely unrelated to the next thing. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I'm following the dopamine, I guess. But like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> life's short. Do what makes you happy. Well, yeah. And, you know? you know, I thoroughly enjoy everything that we're doing at the theater. And these plays are amazing. And I'm, I'm loving yeah. all of this exposure to it all. Mm-hmm. But I really don't know anything. And so when mm-hmm. I'm called, you know, called in as tech to help with whatever, I'm like, yeah, I've never yeah. seen the play. Yeah. Don't, don't know, know anything about it. You know, like we're probably going to help with Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, I Mm -hmm. would imagine, especially if if the kids are lucky enough to get cast. Mm -hmm. Um, And maybe, I don't know, I'm I'm really enjoying my time as uh, stage managing. Mm So, you know, maybe... Maybe I'll get lucky and be asked for that one. Yeah, that'd be uh, great. Maybe it would be unlucky for me to be asked because I've only done it like twice. Right. It's a little scary. <laughs> That's a big one. It is a big one. Mm-hmm. It is. But it um, is. but you know, I I don't know anything about. I don't even think I've seen the movie. Chris mm-hmm. pulled it up the other day. Mm-hmm. He was playing it before we had to leave for rehearsal for mm-hmm. Rudolph, and I was like, you gotta wait, save that because we want to watch it. Yeah. And I was realizing real fast that I didn't know mm-hmm. this play or this mm-hmm. movie. Right. And yeah. so I'm not gonna know the play right. either. Well, and even when you do, often the plays are different. There's different scenes or different that songs. That's very true. Yeah, a little bit aren't mm-hmm. in the movie or the book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you go true. in completely blind. My first checking experience, I can blame your husband on, was oh, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> so. Oh, man. That castle was a cool set. Oh. It broke in the middle. Yeah, And then it was pieces. held together like you would bring it off. Uh, stage it, both pieces went off stage left, didn't right. they? Mm-hmm. And then there was some stairs stage right that also got connected. No, they were stage left. Well, yeah, there was stair both sides. Oh, they were stairs. on both sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so they goodness. would all have to come together and then be pinned together. Yeah. So there was like a big pin in the middle of the main set piece, and then pins on the stairs. Right. And we had a kid down there as a tech that would <laughs> yes. help pin that together. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And like he just I, rode in the set. I came in. <laughs> he did. He just yeah. stayed in there his little dungeon. And I came in late because I wasn't initially on this. I forgot crew. about that. Yeah. I casually mentioned, oh, if you guys need any help, let me know. Oh, so, that's, you know, a couple hours later, Chris is texting me, so. SOS, we SOS. Could use some more Remember text. how you offered? I know. Taking so I show up and there was no training. It was, all right, we're going to push this castle on. Go. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and Wait, the thing was how? huge. I mean, it was like half the stage. It was. And you had to get it behind this one curtain. And there was maybe like a two inch little gap that if you went. One way or the other, you were going to cause major destruction. So it was yes. kind of... Whew, well, it did, right it did sort of happen. It did a little bit sometimes. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I think Chris, he hit... I'm getting tongue-tied. Um, so he was, like, helping to move this the first stage piece off to stage left. And then the second one was coming. And it was mm-hmm. coming fast. Oh, yeah. And it something happened. <coughs> and he gets pushed... And so that, that backdrop is just a curtain, it's essentially. Not a wall. It's not a wall. It no. looks like a wall. You yeah. think it's a not wall. a wall. Until yeah. so no. you have to stand up. And so he it. got pushed, and it knocked him off balance, and he went into that curtain. Mm-hmm. On the other side of that curtain is a, a walkway and our prop tables. And uh, all of Gaston's <laughs> um, number uses uh, these, like, metal aluminum mugs, mugs. like mm-hmm. beer mugs or steins, maybe, is the right word. Anyway, they were all just kind of, you know, thrown up in a like a triangle formation mm-hmm. on the prop table. <laughs> oh, and he no. bumped the curtain, oh, which bumped the table, flat. which oh. sent all of those cascading down. But not all at once, no. <laughs> yeah, it had just a trickle. Just like that. <laughs> it just kept falling. <laughs> and they so were so loud. loud. <laughs> kept waiting for it to end yeah. like, please be the last like, one no no it's not the last one <laughs> here comes more yeah. i think jordan was back yes um in that hallway when it happened yeah, she's she like was... i didn't do it i didn't touch anything it wasn't me <laughs> oh yeah. man poor chris he must have felt horrible oh god yeah yeah, yeah. Territory. it happens you know it's live theater yeah, yeah. there's there's you good know. stories from every show when you're back there oh yeah yeah, yeah, there's plenty. And some of them aren't even like that, the normal tech, like the pushing stuff around mm-hmm. like you think of. Mm-hmm. Um, part of the stuff that happens backstage to make everybody be on time and to make those transitions be as fast as possible 
is quick changes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. And um, I'm hoping that we can bring Laura on, who's Oh, she is like, like the queen, queen yeah, of she's quick like change. A, yeah. Mm-hmm. She yeah. Yeah. Change anybody in five mm-hmm. seconds flat. Oh, she's got all the tricks, knows yeah. everything. It literally takes two of us to fill those shoes. Yeah. yeah. Like, literally. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. so oh. good at it. Mm. But, um, you know, she came in when I was, I, I was desperately in need of tech help, including dressers. And mm-hmm. thank you guys for coming to, I love you, you're perfect now change and like helping with all of that and helping make it happen because without you guys and without Laura, I don't know how we were going to do that. Mm-hmm. It's a cast mm-hmm. of six, right? three guys, three girls. And it's, the scenes are like, for anybody that's never seen it, doesn't know anything about it. Basically it's, um, like little vignettes Mm -hmm. in time through uh relationships or you know pre-relationship it's hysterical it It is hysterical hysterical. (laughs) the whole thing is just yeah yeah, hysterical awesome and um but you you have six cast members and so two may be on stage or all six may be on stage or anything in between and when they come off they've got seconds to Mm -hmm. change outfits and become a new person Mm -hmm. for the next vignette yeah. And that is, that's magic in and of itself, mm-hmm. but it doesn't always go smooth. No, it does not. No, it doesn't. I sometimes mean, was... it's just a jacket. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes yeah. it's in a complete outfit. outfit, including shoes. Yeah. yeah. Like the, mm-hmm. the wedding. Yeah. When mm-hmm. you're go, getting ready to go, the, the couple's about to get married. Everybody mm-hmm. in the wedding party, everybody's on stage because it's right before intermission. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so the scene before that, they're scrambling. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I was running my own light board and stage managing my first show i mean i've stage managed a stage read but that's like it's a different level Mm -hmm. and so this was like my first one and i'm like on the headset and i'm like okay you guys got to tell me i can't see anything i don't know what's happening y'all are backstage right and it's dark right yeah and the band is live on stage and they're just vamping like you know playing the same little bit over Mm -hmm. and over and over again waiting for the cue that everybody is ready to come on (laughs) and you're just sitting there like (laughs) Pinch of needles. Pressure. You know the audience has got it. Like you've been that person in the audience. Yeah. Like what is taking so long? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, there's there's something there. going wrong back there. Yeah, because it was. Yeah. yeah. Oh my you gosh. Know, like those quick changes are tough, and so yeah. you know all it takes is somebody that can't get their pants off from the prior scene, which oh. happened repeatedly. Yeah. Um, Andrew had tough. that prison jumpsuit on. Oh yeah, that jumpsuit. And we could never get it off past his shoes. So that <laughs> and creates some problems. <laughs> so, yeah, and sometimes uh, part of what makes that transition. Um, like the quick change itself work is like leaving the shoes on. Mm -hmm. Right. Or like, you know, making sure you leave certain parts of an outfit on that aren't really going to be seen. Like Chance in the um, infomercial. Mm -hmm. Because he like, the first time we ran that, like in costume, Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't a show. I mean, it was just a rehearsal. I think it was just a rehearsal. Yeah, probably so. Um, He completely got down to just boxers and like hops in the, (laughs) the, the, the fake bed. Right. The prop bed, right? And then he had to get completely dressed for the wedding scene after that or something. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't the wedding after that, but he had to get completely Mm -hmm. dressed anyway was the point. And so we're like waiting and waiting and waiting. We didn't realize until after the show had done, we kind of reconvened like, hey, let's work on that transition because it It took took a long time. It took too long, yeah. Oh, that was Chance's fault because he <laughs> he completely got disrobed and he only needed to take his shirt off because you didn't see he was wearing pants. Right. He was under the covers. Yeah. So you know you kind of learn as you go, mm-hmm. but yeah, there's there's a lot there's a lot that kind of happens <clears throat> even with just that small piece mm-hmm. of it, the costume. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Listen, the first time I was with Laura for that show, she was showing me. Mm-hmm. So we were back, and one of the scenes was Adriana. She was a bridesmaid, so we had to put that red dress on her. <clears throat> so she, we had to get the one dress off. And then get the red dress slipped back on. Okay. Okay. So to take the, I think it was a black, it was black or brown. Anyway, she had a zipper. So we would unzip it. She'd shimmy it down. We'd have to like spread the red dress out. So all she had to do was like put her feet in it. Oh, like make like a donut. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Dress donut. Yeah. So you'd have to (laughs) slip off the one dress. She'd have to step in it. Now she's got heels on, right? Like character Mm -hmm. shoes. So, you know, you catch the lining of that dress you're never going to get it up so you have to make sure her legs are like right where it is so you're like guiding her feet and then you have to stand up whoop put it up spin her around zip it up all in the dark yeah all All in the dark dark. all in the dark Mm -hmm. so laura's standing there with me and you know you can hear the music from the band which was wonderful by the way that we had like a live band i know it was so cool Mm -hmm. yeah that was awesome and we're doing it we're doing our thing and and we whatever we're done i'm like laura i'm like we had plenty of time that was fantastic and she goes 
no, Kathy, they were just going to keep playing until you were done. And I was like, you thought the music was oh. <laughs> Nice. I did. I was like, oh, we made it because the music was playing. She's like, so good. no, 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 Kath, like, it needs to be quicker. I'm like, okay. So then yeah, because then somebody out. has to signal the band, like, right. rack right. it up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what we decided to do, it actually took two of us because the dress that had to come off of her, she actually had a zipper in the front and the back. And we were just trying to do one zipper to save time. Yeah. But we were having a hard time shimming it down. So one person would do the back, one person would do the front, and it came off a lot quicker. And, you know, oh, was that whatever. the tennis outfit? <clears throat> no, no, this no. was the black dress that she wore. The prison scene. She was like, yes. oh, okay, yeah, yeah, where she was like the host. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think she had a blazer that also went on it. I didn't realize it, it had two zippers on it. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, then, so. then Laura decided to leave and go to New York and she leave did. us to do the and queen. Then she left us. <laughs> that you wasn't stressful. It. By that point, it felt like. Well, we had a couple of bumps still we yeah. were ironing out. That was the one yeah. scene that was really tough. <clears throat> yeah. The dress. That was. Yeah, he, one on one side, one on the other, trying we to did. change in 15 seconds. Yeah. yeah. And it almost got to be a competition. Like, it did. Oh, totally did. Didn't I'd almost. Like, I'm like, we beat her. We beat her. I'm like, yes, we got out before then. And then if we had like a hiccup, I'd be like, oh man, Angela was done before me. Right? <laughs> but yeah, it was oh, fun. Was stressful. We had a but great good. time. Mm-hmm. I think the one thing we enjoyed, though, is that we realized it was way easier to quick change adults than it is children. Yes. Yeah. So, well, you guys did, uh, you were the quick change Mad- together, right, oh, for Madeline? Yes, oh, that was rough. That was, that was bad. So Gabby played Madeline, and the little the little boy, well, he's not little anymore, mm-hmm. but he played Pepito, um, super talented, and was so cute. And so Angela was in charge of the doing... The clown suit. He had to change into this clown suit. It was huge. It was all this fabric. Oh, and, a nightmare. Oh, my gosh. I would have to find, you know, the two leg holes but it was so yeah. hard because it was like it was giant oh so big. so one time i kind of messed up and <laughs> both feet got in one leg <laughs> <laughs> and the poor kid was like this. he's like trying to shuffle like onto stage arm. you know <laughs> oh it, was, it just it's terrible but it, that's the kind of thing that then it kind of messed with his mind for that scene thank goodness yeah. it was an easy scene for them they just kind of laid down and there was on a wagon yeah. kids doing yeah. most of the i think acting. i remember yeah. when he came off on the other side of the stage where i was it's a little frustrating man he was yeah he was not yeah, a happy place yeah. at that no, moment no. but it's hard and like the kids the ones that have been doing it for a while they get it like once you hit um the help me portal. out yes once you hit mm-hmm. the portal they can start taking stuff right. off you know right and the kids always have undergarments on so mm-hmm. don't ever think you know i don't want anybody to get the for other, anybody listening nobody's it's not naked. like super aware of terms the portal yeah. is like this kind of blocker that's on either side of the stage mm-hmm. it helps keep the magic on the stage and you don't see what's happening mm-hmm. backstage. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's part of the set, so yeah. it'll look like it just blends in. Mm-hmm. So as they're coming, they're already taking things off, like ready mm-hmm. for us, which is great. And Gabby had like multiple pieces to her little she had gypsy about five outfit that she had to put on. Yeah, we had to put the skirt on, which would be fine if it was just a skirt, but it had like legs in it. Um, yeah, what were we calling them? Pantaloons? Yeah. They, <laughs> it was so, with like elastic around the ankles. Okay. Okay. So to get her, so I'd be down there and I'm like hitting her right ankle. I'm like, come on, do your right foot first. And she's lifting the left. I'm like, no, I'm not ready for that one. Give me the other one. So it took us a while because it's like a dance. Yeah. You know, and you have to get it. So I'm doing that. Someone else is doing the shirt and putting the blouse on. And even like Lily Kate was helping mm-hmm. and she, she would try to put, yeah, try to put that corset on and she'd get it on and then it would pop off. And it was a whole situation. I think we got it completely 100% maybe once or twice. Maybe. Because then she had this headpiece, this mm-hmm. like oh, scarf yeah. thing that went on top of her wig. Mm-hmm. So then the sh- we, we decided, you know what, we're just going to not be stressed out about this because she would start to get stressed right, out about right. it. So it's like, you know Even what? Even just your energy can mess right. them up. Yeah, right. for sure. So then we just started to say, you know what, every time you come off, we're just going to add a piece of clothing mm-hmm. and it'll add to the story of you slowly becoming this character within the circus and whatever so you know laura you weren't there on that side of the stage so yeah we could have used you <laughs> could have missed you see what happens when you're not no, there she was, was she calling that show no because we had somebody in for that I don't know, she, she was doing something she was with me i think maybe she's on the she other side on my side yeah yeah stage left mm-hmm. but anyway we did the best we could we but did. It, yeah but with the kids it's, it's, it's difficult. pressure <laughs> It's pressure. It's total pressure. You don't want to mess them up. The adrenaline definitely gets pumping. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 
But that's, uh, I mean, it's kind of turning us into like adrenaline junkies absolutely. a little bit. Though, because like, I yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love when we're back there and helping with the shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the, this like in between where the kids are just doing the rehearsals and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, when you're not a, a part of that, you're just kind of like, okay, so what am I doing? I guess I'm just Ubering kids. Like, yeah. We'll just right. drop them and then off. you wait for an hour, or two hours or three hours, you know, and mm-hmm. then you pick them back up and take them home and everybody's just tired. But right. like, you're mm-hmm. not, you're not on that part of it yet. You mm-hmm. know, the, no. the the exciting part. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy when they do um, little dances and things and then they put them on to the special Facebook page where just the people that are involved. Yeah, in I don't know so if everybody kind of works it the same way as we do when we're doing stuff with LCT. Yeah. Um, I know Winter Haven did that mm-hmm. for us too. So maybe it's common. Yeah, maybe. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, generally speaking, we're not allowed to, I mean, if you're not a part of the production team, you don't get to see the show unless you're teching mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. show mm-hmm. day. Exactly. Um, and then, you know, we don't get the, like, when you're getting the, the theater is getting the rights to be able to put this production on, mm-hmm. it's pretty rare that you're given the ability to video it. Right. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, there's, the only thing we can do is say, here's a rehearsal, these kids need this, yep. you know, it's or the, the actors need yeah. this mm-hmm. to be able, because we do it for the adults too, mm-hmm. like. This yeah. is a, a dance number used to help, to help you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you yeah. can do it right, mm-hmm. and you have this to answer your questions. Mm-hmm. You know, and right. it's it's yeah. definitely a very helpful tool. Mm-hmm. It's a good resource. But we don't, yeah. you know, those aren't saved anywhere. They're no. they're not no. downloadable. No, no. they're kind of locked. And they're up there. just to the group of folks that are in. Yeah, you know, exactly. The parents it. get to watch mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, but that, I mean, that's all we get. That's yeah. It. It's just like a tease. It yeah. is a tease. It yeah. is. I know. And it all comes together. Did you see the, the yeah. ones we posted for Rudolph? We've had one choreo rehearsal yes. so yes. far. Yeah. With yeah. the elves. I With saw that. Yeah. I totally came was playing. I'm like, I hear Gabby. <laughs> Did you hear her singing? <laughs> I totally hear her singing. <laughs> It was yeah. very cute. She's so much. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Yeah. She's it's a, a that's great gonna, time. This is going to be a really cute show. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a lot of the songs and stuff that we're already kind of familiar mm-hmm. with, plus, you yeah. know, the claymation. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's all kind of that. But yeah, yeah. this is going to be a cute one. And I love Car- Caroline's um, choreo. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it's, really it's really cute, cute. stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it is not like dumbed down in any way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. Like, these kids are really dancing up on that stage. Yeah. You yeah. know, it is not like, oh, they need to make this well, you simple. Know, that's you know, a, I mean, it's kind good. Of reminds me of a really good point, though, right? Like mm-hmm. when we first started going to um, Lakeland Community Theater, until we saw a production there, it was like you go in, and I, I feel like I had it had a stigma or something to it, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, this is just gonna be like some chintzy, yeah. cheesy it's shit, kids. yeah, yeah, right. or right. whatever, you know. And you mm-hmm. get in there, and you're like, holy oh, shit, my. this is like real. This is the real deal. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's legit. They it's legit. devote as much to the kids shows as they do the main stage shows. Absolutely. They, mm-hmm. they want a quality, exceptional product, yep. no matter what it is. Yeah. Every time. So yeah, I, I was the same way, totally shocked by the whole thing. Yeah, but it's, yeah. but it is a good show. Oh, it's yeah. a really good show. Yeah. And for anybody that has a community theater, I think you just need to like give it a chance. Mm-hmm. Go, I yes. mean, maybe they're, they're not all created equal. So there's a chance that yours is mm-hmm. what you're expecting, but there's also mm-hmm. a chance that it's like, you're you missing know, out. Yeah, you really are. Yeah. I, I mean, it's fun. Broadway level or just slightly under. Like they, mm-hmm. they feel a lot more solid of a production than you're expecting. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Especially yeah. in our area. I mean, being mm-hmm. in Polk County, we have yeah. Tampa, we have the Stras, we have Dr. Phillips in Orlando. You know, um, there's the Rep out in Orlando. There's so many different mm-hmm. theaters that aren't just community. They've got regional theaters as well. Um, but as far as community goes, I mean, it doesn't get much better than Lakeland yeah. community. We're kind of in this theater interesting, like, talent bubble, too, mm-hmm. wouldn't yeah. you say? Like, yeah, we absolutely are. There's a lot of really talented kids and adults mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. here. And mm-hmm. because we're positioned in between everything, like you said, mm-hmm. we draw from that, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's, yeah, it's a really good show. Oh, yeah. Our first time. show when we moved here yeah. was Shrek. And we had just moved from Fort Lauderdale where we went to the Performing Arts Center and saw the, mm. you know, Broadway National Tours. And we had very low expectations. It was just, you know, let's go see it. My mom and I both walked out of there going, oh, my gosh, there's so much talent in this community. I mean, yeah, every single one yeah. of those characters was played by somebody mm-hmm. exceptional. Yeah. And it's not just the actors. It's mm-hmm. the costumes. Mm-hmm. It's the makeup. Yeah. It's the set design. 
I mean, all of that yeah. puts well, it together, and you're like, this is thing. a Broadway quality. Yeah, you know, it's interesting production. to think about like who is it that's doing all of this stuff. Well, a lot um, of them have been in the biz for mm-hmm. like a long time. You know, like mm-hmm. the guy that does a lot of the set designs at LCT mm-hmm. has been doing it since you know forever. Right, yeah. and he's done it for movies and TV shows, mm-hmm. and you know, mm-hmm. he designs. Um, the Haunted Houses, he's part of that crew that designs the Haunted Houses out at Universal oh, Studios really? for Halloween Horror Nights. Like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. it, it just in, just an incredible amount of talent. It Like, across the board, you see it, whether it's lighting design or set design or, mm-hmm. um, you know, music or just directing. Like, they, these people have been around, and they just, they're here, mm-hmm. and they're maybe they'll yeah. be here forever, maybe they won't be, but they're here now, and they're yeah. contributing, yeah. and they're volunteering their time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To put on these amazing productions for us, yeah. and it's like cheaper to go to that than it is to go to the movie, <laughs> right. and I enjoy it way more. Oh yeah, oh, definitely, absolutely. Especially when you yeah. get to know the people. And oh yeah, yes. go support your get friends. out there and cheer for them and yeah. everything. Yeah, yes. I love it. Yes, yeah. and we've been doing it a little bit longer now that we've already developed those relationships. So like mm-hmm. those kids that were doing it when our kids first started, mm-hmm. you know, they're either in high school, so they're really busy now with Harrison and stuff. So like we miss them mm-hmm. or they're grown and they've graduated and they're off in college and they're doing these wonderful things. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can't help but think, yeah, they're, they're going to make it. They're definitely going to be on Broadway. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, they are totally. destined to mm-hmm. have these wonderful careers. And when you think about it, they all got started here. Right yeah. at the Lakeland Community Theater. I mean, that, that's just how it is. Or Winter Haven, you know? Yeah. A lot of people do cross shows mm-hmm. um, because it's so close. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's really We have a good theater awesome school to think about. here too for like Broadway. Mm-hmm. Like as a high school, Harrison, mm-hmm. you know, there's, they're oh, definitely they kicking out. They don't mess out. around. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they don't they, mess around. They're they kicking send, out really good product yeah. with those kids. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, pretty consistently. I mean, we just had two last go to the Jimmy's, right? In New York City. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it two? No, one. One? Just one went? Okay. Two were in the finals. Gotcha. For, were oh, like right. nominated yes. or, okay, gotcha. Which is pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, she made it to like number eight or something right. in the, the Jimmy's, right? Eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Top eight. That's and something she's good. to be. She's and she's just a junior. Really so she's a senior this year. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. For those well, of you who don't know, the Jimmy's is kind of like the Tonys for high schoolers. Yeah. So they are evaluated on plays or musicals that they've done. Mm-hmm. Probably musicals. Um, and nominated from there. And if they win their region, then they go to New York and take part in the Jimmy Awards. Yeah, which, it was a big yeah. deal. Yeah. So they had the, I guess the regionals were at the Stras, correct? Yes. Is that where yeah. we did those? Yeah. yeah. And then so whoever won there got to well, move the, on. Well, they performed Hunchback, too, as a group there, didn't they? Harrison's group? I don't know if or they performed th- the whole thing or... Like a song from it or right. something. Yeah. Like an excerpt. Yeah. 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 I feel like that's what they were doing there because they were all nominated right. in various degrees mm-hmm. for different things in that production and one of the others. The, um, Once Upon a Mattress, was yes. it that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah that was hilarious. Yeah. That was. Oh, so mm-hmm. funny. And they're getting ready to ramp up to do Mary Poppins. Yeah, next weekend. So if you guys haven't gotten your tickets. We got our tickets. Yeah, we do. We There's have only a few left. <laughs> only a few left. Get on. Get them. Um, look it up. Harrison School of the Arts. You can go online. Mm-hmm. They'll get you right. I think it's Eventbrite, but they'll get mm-hmm. you right to where you can purchase yeah. your tickets. Go and see it. You better hurry up because um, there's not much no. left. And you no. won't be disappointed. No. You will not I be mean, disappointed. will be amazed, Hunchback actually. Gave me goosebumps. Oh, I know. Oh. And then I laughed a lot in Once Upon a mm-hmm. Mattress. I had no idea, of, again, yeah. about that one. But yeah, it was really good. <laughs> Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, high expectations now for Mary Poppins. Right. I wonder if yeah. they're going to fly her. They have to fly I think her, so. right? Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure they are. Oh, have to, right? She's I think married. there's several flying from what I've heard. Oh. I could be wrong, but wow. somebody's well, flying. That's cool. Yeah. Guys are just going to have to go and see. That's right. Check yeah. it out. Go see that. Go see your local community theater. Get involved. Yes. You can volunteer. You can do front of house, like ushering or mm-hmm. greeting. Yeah, or there's selling nothing wrong with ushering, is there? <laughs> No. Every show needs an usher. No. Just, just to bring it back around to the beginning. Yes. Then. There's nothing wrong with no. ushering. Don't get cast. You can usher. <laughs> yes. But there's so many ways to get involved and support your theater it because is. there are great things happening. Yeah. And totally. a great great group mm-hmm. to be involved with, even mm-hmm. when everything goes wrong. And it all falls apart. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. When everything falls everything apart. Everything falls apart. And it's still funny. So hopefully next week, um, on our next one, we can do a review of Mary Poppins, right? Will we have seen it oh, by then? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Right, we'll see it Saturday. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we're hoping that maybe we'll have a special guest with us for next oh, week, right? Oh, spoilers. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Not to give yes. too many spoilers, mm-hmm. but you know. Like it. Yeah. So stay tuned for the next one. That's mm-hmm. right. 
All right. Well, listen, you guys all have a great week. And yeah. uh, we'll see you next time. The next weekly wind down. That's right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or mojito, whichever you like. Whatever you like. Whatever your preference is. Yeah. I didn't catch that those were mojitos. Mm-hmm. They are. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I just brought the wine, you know, but I think I might want one of those Oh, you're going to want one. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. It's I'm already good stuff. like flushed, you feel like. <laughs> I just had one thing of wine. Like, ah, you're halfway there. Have yeah. at it. It's all good. 